Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today we're gonna go uh, find another hot spot in Lake uh, Travis, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's just see here. Greetings, everybody. Okay, so we're at nighttime here, guys. So you can see that. Just want to make sure I'm starting on the ramp I want, which is not the case. So I'm going to go to the Jonas Brothers Park. And then I'm just going to head uh, all the way north, guys. I think I found a pretty good spot here. So if you haven't already done so, check out my first Lake Travis video. Pretty popular video so far. People seem to be having good luck with it. So go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. But I thought I'd do a second spot. Just sometimes these spots don't work for everyone. It's always good to have... I like to have three spots per lake. Though I haven't made videos of every spot, of course. But I'm gonna get around to it. So as you can see, where I'm heading, whoopsie, it's actually pretty, pretty far north. So I recommend you do this um, if you can with the faster boat than what you get given, which I recommend you just do log in with your live account. That way you get um, the Dovetail live boat, which is a lot faster than um, It's a lot faster than the, the... Okay, perfect. Alright, so what I'm going to do, guys, is... This is as far as you can go and see how to the right of me there's all this kind of like dead wood. So we're just going to park out here and then we're going to just cast out in that direction that you see there. So you can see, even with this pretty fast boat, it did take me a minute and a half to get here. Which, you know, kind of sucks. Uh, it's going to take you probably two minutes to get here with the other boat. But anyway, I'm just going to start fishing, guys. Check out my setup there. I got the Reflex Buzzbait, the Leopard Frog, and the Ocean Breeze. I'm going to get started with those. Start with the Black Plague, see if we catch any. It's a really shallow area right here. Perfect. All right. So we got something there. He looks pretty big, actually. Let's see what we got on the line here. Gonna let this guy do his thing. All right, perfect, and that looks like a nice tent pound spotted bass guys that's a great way to start this so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, oh just gonna try to kind of hog the shore here I just saw a fish jump so again I like to lower my rod for this and then you know we did waste a little bit of time coming here but 
if we are gonna have uh, good luck with the fish, then I just I totally think it's it's worth it. Of course, um, the original video that I made for Lake Travis definitely definitely um, is uh, is right near the the boat. Oh Lord, come on! I don't know what I was thinking there. But anyway, the original video that I made about Lake, Lake Travis is right near the boat ramp, so check that out if you like that. But I find that um, this spot has some nice size uh, bass if you can get them, so why not, eh? Keep in mind we're fishing at night right now, so that might affect what you do there. Um, right now I'm using the, the buzz bait. I find these the black plague works really well at night so far for me. Haven't had any issues with that one. It's too bad I lost that fish there uh, due to the poor strike and wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, I should have been a bit more conservative with how it's bringing that in. But hopefully we get another nice sized fish here. This might be a nice size. I can't actually see what's going on, guys. It's kind of hard, but just the fact that it's not jumping right out of the water. It's taking its time to come in, so... Should be coming in. If not this one, the next one. We'll let him take it one more time. He does not want to come in just yet. Let's see if he's gonna do one more run. Yeah, I guess he's doing one more run. What do we got here, guys? This might be a quite a big fish. There we go. He's finally coming in. Wow, look at that. Guys. 13 pounds. Beautiful largemouth bass. Amazing. Alright, so this side is working pretty well. Let's try this side. And then I'll switch uh, baits in a bit just to see if we get... Uh, just to see if we get any other type of bass there. But... Um, this appears to be working pretty well, guys. You can see uh, I got the Black Plague buzz bait, topwater lure, doing a retrieval of two. Has been working well for me so far. Nothing on that one. Let's just try one more time here. Do a three. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, I'm gonna go back to the spot where I'm seeing the bubbles. So as you can see, I'm aiming just a bit to the right there. And then I'm gonna go back to a two. And boom, we got a little guy.
well, I don't know how little he is, but he's definitely not a not a huge 13 pounder like the one we just got. Check it out, when you get stuck on the boat like that, it's best to just let it go for a bit. And then uh, usually they come in pretty shortly after that. All right, so it's a smallmouth bass. So we've had largemouth, a spotted bass, and smallmouth bass all here so far. So that's pretty good. Guys, I'm gonna switch to the leopard frog, the booyah pad crasher. See how we do with that one. Another top lure. Top water lure, and let's just check it out. Let's just see how, how we do. Also, I'm gonna retrieve this one out of two. Go a little bit to the left and try again. Boom, all right, we got one. Doesn't seem too big, but um, I guess uh, we'll see here. Maybe like, oh, my line is going glitchy. Yes, maybe three, four pounds. Two pounds. There you go. Another smallie. All right, I'm going to try a little bit to the center here. See how we do. Boom. All right, let's see what we got here. This guy seems like he's definitely a bit bigger than the last one we caught. Holy moly. He is uh, tugging on that line pretty good. Okay, I, guys, I think this is going to be another really nice sized fish just based on the way that it's taking the line. And, you know, I did get a perfect strike, which is really good, but maybe I should be using the 20 pound line. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm using 15 pound Versa Braid right now. And uh, let's just see if it's going to come in now. It's going to come in now. Good. And look at that monster, man. Look at that belly. Wow, another 13 pounder, guys, with the Booyah Pad Crasher, Leopard Frog. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking guy. All right, let's throw the lure out here to the left. And then just see if we can get some more. All right, guys, I'm going to do the, the the Ocean Breeze Pro Shad real quick here and just see if we get anything with this. And then maybe I'll uh, see what other top lures I have and we'll, we'll try something else there. Try twitching this. Oh, that's too bad. Four strike.
This is another fairly decent sized bass, guys. I'm pretty sure. It's hard to see them at night there. He might not be a 13 pounder, but he might be 8 pounds maybe. 8 plus. might snap my line guys just because of that poor strike when they're really big it's it's tough to keep them on but I'm gonna try my best to keep my rod up high and just lower that drag when he wants to take it and okay didn't lose him that's good yeah that's another nine pounder there you go All right, guys, we'll do another another twitch move here. Sandy Creek indeed, eh? We are literally in the Sandy Creek tournament, fishing in the actual Sandy Creek. Boom. All right, let's see what we got here. This is going to be a nice one. How is it taking my line to the 43 yard line? That's. I wonder what I got here. Like, I'm increasing my line just to see if I can pull it in, but that's a dangerous thing to do, guys. I wouldn't recommend that. Keep it below 25. Just because as soon as he starts tugging on that line, he might snap it on you, even with a perfect strike if you're at 30. But let's just see. Oh yeah, this is gonna be another, another really nice fish. Definitely above nine pounds. Might be another thirteen pounder, maybe. We'll see. Oh no, it's only seven pounds, guys. Wow. All right, that's okay. Okay, let's just see what we get here. One more cast with the pro shad. Boom. Okay. This is probably going to be another 7 pounder, 8 pounder, something like that. Perfect. 5 pounds, okay. Pretty off today, <laughs> all my guesses. Not a big deal. Okay. Let's go back to the black plague for this last. Probably get one more fish. Or maybe not, depending on how quickly it bites. And boom. We got another perfect strike. That's a beautiful thing. Let's just see what we can bring in here. comes in let's take a look another large mouth seven pounds 
And alright, might as well cast one more time. We won't have time to fight whatever fish we catch, if we catch any. But as you can see guys, pretty much every single toss was uh, some sort of bass. 54 pounds in this tournament. Oh, we got a little guy. I was not paying attention. Got a poor strike. Let's see if I can just yank him right in. And boom. 10 seconds to go. We got a little tiny guy. One pounder. But alright guys. Let's just take a look at the catch summary here. Uh, guys, check it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at all these bass we got. Amazing. And look. 10 pounds. 13 pounds. 13 pounds. 9 pounds. Two 13 pounders. That's really good. Total weight of 54 pounds. You're going to crush this tournament with that kind of stuff. And yeah. Basically using the Black Plague, the Leopard Frog, and the Ocean Breeze. And uh, the Leopard Frog and the Black Plague caught the most fish, guys. We're at nighttime here. Lake Travis, all the way north in the Sandy Creek area there. And another win for me. This is awesome. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the channel. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like. You guys are awesome. Hope you're all doing great. Take care. Bye now.